already getting ready. Even after 17 months, this is still the nastiest thing I have ever tasted. Sunday I am fresh faced and ready I took a shower this morning this is another variation of the gray house dress that I have like I have so many gray house dresses it's crazy but anywho on today's agenda we're going to stop at Starbucks and get our Starbucks drink this morning then we're going to church after church I need to go get a pedicure because I did not go yesterday like I was just chilling yesterday um and then after that baby is going to wake up and we're going to go to the mall and then we're going to go eating a shell shake so today should be pretty fun packed my little ears that I got, I got this from a store called Image. I wear these like if I have any bangs or braids or anything that can fall over when I'm doing my skincare routine or doing my makeup. So yeah, I just put it on for that. I don't actually wear them at the house. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready so I can head to church and I will see you guys, I guess on the way to Starbucks. All right guys, so I don't have any good lighting, but I am ready and I'm heading out the door to head to Starbucks. But, but I wanted y'all to see the first OOTD of the day. It's just real casual. Our church is real laid back, so we don't like do a bunch of dressing up so let me just show you what i'm wearing okay so this is ootd number one it's just a black shirt i got from h&m and then these um pozzolo pants i think that's what they call them i got these from rainbow and i just have on some black flats because i'm going to get a pedicure i did bring my sandals with me so that way i can just change into that but yeah just real casual just you know black top pants and i really like these i would have never worn these before but my eyes is always open to stuff now but anyway running late so let's run to stuff see what I rolled up on the drive through clothes and that's why I know I should have had my butt in the going inside anyway because I normally get out the car but that's okay I'm gonna go inside Starbucks drinks I went in I got me an iced white chocolate mocha and this is a tall and it's like 420 calories I think and then I got my mom a hot 
white chocolate mocha because she don't like iced coffee and since it's sunday i do treat myself to full coffee like most of my treats like i said um happens on sunday so on sunday i will get the real iced coffee and anytime that i go to starbucks throughout the week then i'll get a healthy starbucks coffee which if y'all want to know some healthy starbucks coffee recipes i've gotten quite a few um i used to watch the micro barista on instagram i'm pretty sure he has been posting but i haven't seen like any recent ones that i haven't tried so if y'all want to see a video like that then comment below and i'll do that for all my starbucks at starbucks addicts um but anywho i'm late so let me get to church and i will pick you guys up probably after church um yeah because i'm going to get a pedicure all right guys so i'm out of church and i'm heading to the nail shop now so i can go and get a pedicure and hopefully it doesn't take forever the lady or whoever's in there because there's like two men and this lady that i love to do my pedicures but anyway it takes all of them around about an hour to hour and a half to do my pedicure so i'm just like lord i'm only rushing because y'all know today is sunday and the mall closes at um six and so baby got off of work this morning she's in there taking a nap when i make it home um i'm gonna wake her up so she can jump in the shower and get ready and then we're gonna head and go to the mall and then we're going to eat <clears throat> i wanted to try to you know throw some makeup on beat my face you know but if i if i can make it out out of the shop in time enough i'll do it but if not then of course i'll just be wearing my skin which i'm so comfortable with now y'all i used to be so like hard on myself like now when i look at stuff that i used to didn't do that i do now I'll be like but why like what rule told me that i should do this or shouldn't do this like it's so crazy how much we are so hard on ourselves with stuff that other people do, could even care less about and like makeup like i love makeup y'all know makeup is life but i used to always feel like oh if i don't do my makeup people are not going to respect me or people going to say this people going to say that girl boo you gotta have skin underneath the makeup <laughs> but anyway y'all know i would preach so let me get up off that high horse right now um and head on to get this pedicure i'm going for like a fluorescent color like it's summertime i want my toes to really really stand out i got an orange color like right now my toes are white and these were like my birthday toes because i do get a pedicure once a month um and i do get gel polish and everything like that um so yeah anyway before i had the white i got orange and i liked it before they i mean i liked it but when they put it on it wasn't as fluorescent as i wanted and i want like a highlighter color so let's see what i choose
I did make it home in time to throw some makeup on this face and I'm feeling kind of cute. Me and baby about to hit the mall. Hopefully we make it cause it's later than we said we was gonna leave. But if we don't make it, we going out to eat in the same area anyway, so no problem. But we are heading to the mall. We're really not even going for anything, but the mall that we're going to, we haven't been to in years. So I'm like, let's go over there and see what they got. I don't even re remember what stores are in it. It is the Town East Mall in Mesquite, Texas. So I'm really excited to go over there though. Oh, I'm really excited about my outfit as well because yesterday I went to Rainbow and I bought me some biker shorts and I got a size medium, y'all. Medium. Oh my God. And I bought the shirt from there. And my shoes are from there. Hey, I'm representing from Rainbow. They need to sponsor me. <laughs> so let me show you my outfit of the day. Or, you know, my second outfit for today. So here's my outfit. I got this shirt from Rainbow. It says blessed. And then on the back, it does have some writing. These biker shorts, which are a size medium, y'all. Like, oh my God. And then I just have on some fairy slides that I got from Rainbow, which I've had these slides forever. I bought these actually to go to Miami. So, yes, this is my little outfit of the day. I'm actually achieving what baby told me. I'm achieving that slim thickness that I've been looking for. So I'm going to work on it because I see it. You know, like I see my waist is getting smaller and stuff like that. It's just that this is what I want to work on in July. So just stay mm -hmm. tuned to see these results. Shut up. Baby talk about how I say July. Y'all know I'm country. I sing my words. I know this stuff. But that's why y'all love me. Comment below and tell me. That's why y'all love me. <laughs> but we about to head out. Alright guys, so we made it to the mall and I'm vlogging on my phone because I left the camera in the car because it looked like it's going to rain and we may have to run back so I didn't want to damage the camera. So we made it to Tanny's Mall in Mesquite and we're just going to see what's in here. It's been so long of me being to this mall. I don't even know what stores are in here. Baby, you remember what stores? We in her favorite store now, which is Macy's because y'all baby expensive. And I know some of y'all probably think Macy's ain't expensive, but... Ooh, but when you go to Rainbow, <laughs> Macy's expensive. We gonna go up. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, the backstage part. So let's see what we find. But after this, we going to eat at Shell Shack, and I'm so ready. <laughs> Baby, say this don't sound safe. It do sound like. Can y'all hear? Like this way, my destination. I'm rolling up inside, and my legs gonna fold. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'll be back when we find Victoria's Secret. It's my first ever Victoria's Secret purchase. I got measured for my bra size a little while ago and I just been waiting to pull the trigger. Like, I shouldn't say pull the trigger, but I've been, um, we gotta go down right here. So yeah, I just been waiting, um, or whatever and I went in and I saw the perfect color. It's the gray and the pink and I'm like, okay, I'm doing this. So, now we about to go eat. You ready to go eat? Everybody wants good. <laughs> I don't know where they came from. <laughs> Got 
good morning guys and happy monday i am actually out and about today i have a new clinic that's starting up so i have some gowns in my back seat back here that i'm about to take out to them and then i need to do my in service on training them how to order introducing myself as their rep and just taking care of stuff outside the office but back at the office it's a monday like shit is going all the way wrong but i got it somewhat settled so that i could come and see my customer like i am one person but i swear these people think i can do 700 things and it's because i do all the stuff and then they just rely on me so i mean it's like bittersweet or whatever but anyway i had to stop and get some gas and fill up so that's what i'm doing right now and then i'm actually traveling about 40 minutes from the office to go take these gas and do what i need to do but i wanted to just come and open up the vlog for today i didn't end it yesterday because me and baby got lit at shell shack and then when i went home i like this new um what is it called jack daniels down home punch oh my god it is so good y'all and i had that and i was down for the count like i got my treat day on <laughs> you know today is monday and i fast on mondays i do a full 24 hour fast i start well actually end up being 38 hours because i start sundays at 10 p.m and i fast all the way until tuesday at 12 p.m so i do a 38 hour fast to start off every single week and i feel amazing but anyway i just wanted to come open up today is meal prep day so we are going grocery shopping and we gonna meal prep, prep. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what i want to eat for dinner which i have my meal plan or what i want but i'm trying to see is that what i really want or do i want something else so stay tuned to see what we meal prep all right guys so i made it out to my clinic is right back here and i'm gonna grab the gowns go in she just emailed me and told me that they oh a bird just pooped on my car how disrespectful is that like that's rude well my car is dirty so i mean anyway but anyway she emailed me and let me know that they are having like a big training session so they don't have any patients today so that's good so i'm gonna grab everything run on the inside of course i can't vlog this part because you know this is the work part of it but i like sharing it with you guys so yeah and while i was driving i was using my thoughts and i figured out my meal plan for this week and i cannot wait to share it with you guys and let you know what the calories is gonna be and what we eating this week so yeah anywho i'm gonna do that and i probably am not gonna be able to pick you guys up because when i get back to the plant i'm gonna have to get caught up since i've been gone um so yeah i'm just gonna pick you guys up when i get off and when we're headed to go grocery shop so guys the work day is over and i have made it to Walmart this car was trying to run me over I'm on the phone with my mama right now that's why I got my airpod in so let's go in I did make a list um so I know exactly what I'm going about we're not gonna have no $73 incidents no more we literally gonna buy what we need so yeah let's go in and get these groceries on this grocery shopping i'm almost finished i'm headed to the register but is y'all gross is y'all walmart getting to be like a flea market like if it's not the bank people running after you it is the cable people if it's not the cable people it is somebody who's selling books and was a, a drug person and now they sober again like look i just want to come get my groceries honey i don't want to come here and be haggled during my whole shopping trip and then now i got to take shortcuts well it ain't even shortcuts it's long cuts throughout the store to get away from their ass <laughs> but anyway i'm headed to the register so i'll show you guys what i got when i got home when i got home that, that's how frustrated i am when i get home and then we'll go over this week's meal plan and calories <laughs> 
Okay guys, so I am home and pretty much I figured out what I'm gonna eat this week. So this is the stuff that I already had. I already had turkey bacon, my PB2. I still had four eggs left, which is good because I only need four for this week. And I still had two bananas and it's okay that they're ripe because I just free cut them up and freeze them for my smoothies. But I did need to get some more spinach. So I got some baby spinach. And then I picked up the grill and ready oven roasted diced chicken breast because for dinner this week, I'm gonna do kind of like a chicken alfredo but with no pasta so this is the chicken breast and then i got frozen broccoli that i'm gonna like act as pasta and then i just want to throw some carrots in it because i really love carrots believe it or not like even when i didn't eat vegetables carrots was still like what i ate so yeah i got that and then i got this actually from kroger they have it every now and again but i looked up on it so i got me two and it is the basil pesto alfredo cream sauce and you can have a fourth of a cup for 70 calories and on Weight Watchers it's three points. So I'm so excited about it so I'm going to make me kind of just like a little pasta dish with that. And then for lunch since I'm at work and I've been busy as hell I'm just going simple. So I'm going to do turkey meatballs and green beans for lunch and then I still have strawberries left so I'm going to eat strawberries. And then for a snack this week I'm going to do my Smart Foods white cheddar popcorn and these are 100 calorie bags. Um, and lastly, I don't have any plans to put this cheese on anything this week, but I bought this cheese because it's fat-free cheese, and this is zero points on Weight Watchers. So when I, if I do need to throw some cheese on my little pasta or something like that, then these will be zero points for me. So I went ahead and got these, but I'm going to go ahead and throw these in the freezer and freeze them because I, pro I probably won't be using them any this week. So yeah, my meal prep is like super simple this week, but it's different. Like I haven't had turkey meatballs and green beans in so long. Long, and this would be my first time attempting this whole little thing right here but I'm so excited I have had this sauce before and I like everything else so I know once I combine it it's gonna be good together so yes guys I made in the house I haven't even taken my work clothes off I just wanted to get this set out so I can show y'all I'm gonna do my eggs and my turkey bacon just like I did last week so I'm gonna throw my turkey bacon on the pan boil my eggs I make my smoothies um every morning but I am gonna record it in the morning so you can see how I make them and then my my turkey meatballs is literally in the green beans oh um, one thing i did want to tell y'all was on my green beans i do get no salt added because i like to just season it myself and it's only 10 milligrams of sodium oh i'm sorry there is zero milligrams of sodium in this or whatever and i just put a little bit of spray butter and some um garlic powder on it so this is the spray butter that i use i can't believe it's not butter and then i just put a little gar garlic powder on it and it just like flavors it up so um because it's really nasty because no salt is added but when i do that it flavors it up and i'll be able to eat it so yeah i'm gonna do those green beans and turkey meatballs for lunch my little pasta stuff so, so yeah meal prep again is super easy this week because i'm literally dumping everything out into a container i am gonna be super duper busy i have a driver that's on vacation and this is the first week of the month so we're doing invoices and billing and all kind of stuff and it's our new fiscal year because it's july so i'm gonna be super super duper busy at work like i couldn't even go on my walk at work today which sucks because that is that helps me reach my 10,000 steps before I make it home because now I'm not at 10,000 steps so I'm gonna have to walk around this house and do some working out <laughs> and today is fasting day so my energy is a little bit low um but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and start meal prepping and then um I'll pick you guys up in a bit
be a little lazy this week and y'all see this chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and break it down into its serving sizes and just put them in here and put it in the freezer so that way I'm not breaking, breaking this bag out every day. I could just pull out the bag of serving size of chicken and the serving size is three ounces, but on Weight Watchers, this chicken is zero points and I can have four ounces. So I'm gonna do four ounces um, and like I said, just bag them up and put them in the freezer and then just throw this bag away. So that's what I'm about to do now. I just went ahead and just bagged up the whole bag. So each one of these are four ounces of chicken. Like I said, I could just pick this up at the freezer versus me having to pull that bag in and out. And then this wasn't a full serving size. This was only 2.8 ounces. So I put it in a smaller bag so I can know it's not a full serving size. Also with the green beans, since I finished out this meal prep here, um, cause I decided to only do three cause I forgot I'm off Thursday cause it is the 4th of July. So I don't have to do four days, but yeah, the rest of my green beans I just put in a little small bag. So. so yeah, my meal prep is like super easy this week. And like I said, I'm off on Thursday. So if I need to tweak some or do anything, I'll do it on Thursday. Um, my energy is real low. And normally when I'm like this on a water fast, that's, that is when Crystal take a bath and just chill and relax. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and end up at the vlog for today. Baby in here cooking some, what you cook? Uh, some uh, roast and she gonna do some rice and she made it in gravy. Look, she getting up cause she want to show y'all. So, oh, she wants to go see. So let's go see this. And see, this is why I be telling y'all, y'all can't have no excuses on a diet because I be water fasting and she be over here cooking this amazing food and I don't eat it. So when people be telling me, sis, I just can't, I don't have sympathy for you because I just do. So I watched you do it. So. Um, and baby said she watched you me do it. And your personal roast this all just for you me. ain't gonna pull it out. Pull it out cause I don't want to go in the heat. Look, she's trying to get me in the oven. It's already 100 degrees outside. So here is her roast and she made the gravy cause that's what she put over her, over, I finna say ice, over her rice. And it got a little onion and bell pepper on it. Mm, it smells it's so little, good. A little baby roast. Oh my God, it smells so good. And I'm fasting. For one, I mean, this is not bad. Let me let y'all know, like this is not bad. If you eat beef and you know, you can get this in your calorie count or well, I don't know about keto people say, yeah, keto people can eat this on Google. It's our protein. Yeah. And baby put butter on it so they can have butter too. So if you're keto. You know, this time I didn't put the butter mm -hmm. because I made the, the gravy, the little root. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I just did like that. So one. she just, yeah, she just did regular. She didn't put no gravy. But yeah, that's what baby finna no eat. Butter. No butter. So yeah, I'm about to get ready and take me a bath and just chill out and relax. Don't worry, tomorrow I'll do another kind of what I eat in a day so you'll see how many calories I'm actually eating. Oh, those are for my eggs, baby. Can you pull them? Just put them in the sink. Um, do another kind of like what I eat in a day to show you guys the calories and all that stuff like that um, just for this because I calculated the calories on my Weight Watchers app but I didn't do it on my fitness pass so I'm not sure how many calories it is but since I am doing Weight Watchers I've chosen to go ahead and start tracking with Weight Watchers y'all they have so many zero point foods which you have to be careful because just because there's zero points with Weight Watchers doesn't mean that it has zero calories so those foods like that you still need to be careful Oh, excuse me, y'all, and watch, but we good, so. I ain't calorie counting. I'm, I'm not the person. I'm, you know what? She has motivated me to drink more water and get my life right, so I got to go do 25 crunches. Oh, what's the things called? Yeah. And she going to do a kettlebell workout yeah. with her arms. Oh, shit, I just thought about it. I haven't reached my 10,000 steps for today, and that's the first day of my challenge is moving Monday where you got to reach 10,000 steps. So now I got to reach 10,000 steps. You know what I'm, I think I'm at like 6,000 because I was uh, busy at work today, so I didn't go do my walk. Because normally I walk at work, do a 30 minute walk, so I'm making my 10,000 steps like that. But today we was busy and I had to go see the customer. I wasn't able to make it. So I 
no excuses for me. I gotta get these 10,000 stuffs in, so I'm about to get that done. Um, but I am gonna go ahead and close out the vlog for today because, again, y'all know I can talk. So, oh, and look, right when I said I'm gonna close it out, my battery started blinking. The battery is finna go dead. So, I'll see y'all tomorrow on Tuesday. What's up, guys, and happy Tuesday. I'm starting to think this whole vlog is gonna be on my phone, <laughs> but it's really not. But I left my camera in the office and I am on my lunch break and I am walking as you can see all the way back there i walk all the way back there to all the way back this way and i just run walk run walk and run walk i do it for 30 minutes i use the my uh what is it called i was gonna say my fitness pad but it's the track my what is it called track map my run that's what it's called I use map my run to let me know how many miles i'm walking normally in 30 minutes i do two miles so around about that time but i'm trying to get it in trying to get it done uh, summer slim down is in full effect in my group the ladies are bringing it and it just motivates me to bring it even harder so yes that's what i always tell people sometimes you just need to put yourself around like-minded people who it's not even that we got the same goal it's just that we're all trying to achieve a goal and in that sense then you'll be motivated to get it done i'm already busting a little bit of a sweat i have on a waist trainer and I got this one from Amazon, little cheapy thing. I think it was like $22, something like that. And I only wear this. Huh? Uh, yeah, till midnight. Uh, four. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I don't know where I was talking about because the man interrupted me. But, uh, oh yeah, I was talking about the waist trainer. So yeah, I just bought this um, just to put on when I'm at work or whatever. And I actually bring a bag with me to work. It's like, I got a, a Victoria's Secret um, reusable bag. So I put my tennis shoes, socks, my waist trainer. Um, I do baby wipes, some type of spray, lotion, toothbrush. But you know, like stuff that I would need to freshen up um, after I do this. I mean, nine times out of 10, I do sweat, but I'm not like pushing myself to the point where, you know, I have to run home afterwards but i do have everything that i need to freshen up to get me through the rest of my day so anywho just wanted to come and check in with you guys let y'all know what i'm doing i'm trying to get it in when i get home i'm gonna do some resistant band training and some jump roping um so yeah i'll show you guys that too but you know what when i break my fast i'm actually gonna show you guys what i'm eating today because it's we're gonna do like I did last week, it's just what I ate today. And I eat the same thing every day, so I don't have to do it today. I did tell you guys yesterday that I was gonna make the smoothies for y'all. Woke up late this morning. Electricity went out last night, so me and baby woke up like, what's going on? We had lights when we woke up, but I was so confused. So we'll make that smoothie tomorrow. But anyway, let me finish this workout and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty guys, so it is 12.02 and I'm about to get ready and break my fast. So I'm doing the same thing that I did last week. My green smoothie, four pieces of turkey bacon, and an egg. And I'm supposed to tell y'all the calories. Hold on. And y'all always know I put the calories on the screen, but this whole meal is 435 calories. So I'm about to break my fast and I will come back when it's time to eat lunch. Okay guys, so here is lunch. It is 1.33 and I'm going to go ahead and eat lunch because we do have our meeting coming up and I need to prepare. And it is six turkey meatballs and a half a cup of green beans one cup of strawberries uh oh it's hot y'all see it fog up and my water and then for my green beans like i told y'all those are the no salt added and they literally have no flavor so i did bring my i can't believe it's not butter spray butter and this is zero everything it has nothing in it zero calories sodium sugar everything so you can use this um and then i just put a little garlic powder on it just to give it just a little bit of flavor and like i said they just really help amp it up because these are really nasty but we gotta go so here is you know yeah i beat one of my turkey meatballs and my green bean and i forgot to tell you that this is 220 total calories
and I know it's not the prettiest, but it is so good. It's just carrots, broccoli, oven grilled chicken, and some um, sauce. And it is so good. Low carb, low sugar, everything. Like, so, so good. Almost like an Alfredo. And then for dessert, I'm going to have this new protein one, peanut butter chocolate. And this is so good. They took them down to 90 calories and only one gram of sugar. Oh, my God. It's so good. And I'm also going to have the 70 calorie brownie which I've fallen in love with. They used to be 90 calories and now they're 70 calories. So that's what I'm going to have for dessert. I normally do have my graham cracker and whipped cream but I said no tonight. I'm going to just have these because I really got a real real sweet um, tooth today. So yeah that's what I'm going to have and my fake out pasta alfredo. So what's up guys and happy Saturday. I get the worst vlogger award for this week because Wednesday I did not vlog because it was super busy at work. It's the day before the holiday and before the holiday Day, I have to make sure that everything is gonna go right for the holiday so I have to make sure all the orders in make sure that my team has places to go because they still do work on holidays make sure that everything is secure with the plan and all that stuff especially since I work that help disposition now so Wednesday I was busy all day when I got home I did my exercise and that was lights out Thursday I was off it was the 4th of July but I literally just took a self-care day and I just chill and just got me some much needed rest I'm always going and going and going and going that I don't sit down so Thursday I just used it as just a day that I was just chilling I actually got me a bunch of rest I got me some good sleep and I was super excited and then Friday is when the shit started because we noticed some water was over here by our air conditioning unit and this has happened before last summer and it's always in the summertime when my neighbor upstairs turns her air conditioning on because we share like a unit and hers was leaking and so it was like leaking down into ours which made our like water pan full so it was like leaking and then the light in the kitchen was leaking because it was like leaking from her apartment so me and baby was sitting here and the thing just like fell like the light fell and I'm like oh my god like it didn't fall on the ground but it just like fell at the ceiling it was still attached and everything but it was like full of water because water was dripping in it and it was so crazy. Um, so yeah, I did go to work on Friday, which was stupid. I should have taken off because I was off Thursday, but I went to work Friday. It was kind of a slow day at work, but I had, like that was the time that I had to do some stuff that I still had pending for Billy. So I was just like super duper busy. Um, and then this morning I was on a mission. So I got up as soon as the office opened, went around there, did the emergency request. The maintenance man shown up. It took him a little while because it was so much water in there that he had to vacuum out because it was so much from hers leaking and then coming to figure out our air conditioner was leaking. So it was so much water. So he was like vacuuming and out and it, he was in and out, in and out. And so I was like, hey, I can't even vlog today like I wanted to because he was in and out, in and out. Um, and then after that, when I was driving off, baby was like, hey, step on the brake. We stepped on the brake and come to figure out my left brake light was out. Um, so I watched the YouTube video, figured out how to change it. And I went to AutoZone, bought the light, came home and changed that brake like myself y'all sure did i was so proud of myself i recorded it <laughs> um and I showed it to my mom and my baby. <laughs> and they was like, oh my God, you did a good job. I was like, I know. It was like super, super simple. I watched the video, um, followed it, and it was like very simple. It wasn't like any hard labor, because even my mom was like, how did you do it with them nails? And I know everybody think my nails are long, but I think they're like shorter, whatever. <laughs> like I'm so used to them, so I could do stuff with them. So yes, I've had a very eventful three little days or whatever. I am so glad that all that stuff is done. Oh, but update. So the light, since it was leaking, the she rock is so cute wet so they was able to vacuum all the water and get it like cleaned up but they couldn't actually rehang the light in the kitchen because the sheetrock is wet so every time they tried to like put a nail in there it was so wet and soggy that the nail just fell out so we have to let that dry until Monday I have to just monitor it tomorrow and stuff just to make sure it's still not leaking and he's gonna come back over here Monday and check it but until then we don't have light in the kitchen so I have like my little dining room light I do have my ring light um we do have a flashlight so it's just so crazy but 
but you know what no sweat off my back everything is getting fixed i didn't let any of these things stress me out especially with work because i was like it was like a holiday so i wasn't supposed to be busy but since i'm doing all this stuff i was kind of busy like it was so so crazy so i get the worst vlog award this week but i'm so glad that i did get a lot of footage in the beginning of the week because that allowed me to you know just make sure that i got everything done that i needed to so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the weekly vlog for this week because if y'all could tell i'm like tired because i have been up dealing with this water situation since like 5 a.m this morning because i got up to go get me some water at the kitchen and i stepped in water and i was like are you freaking serious and so i immediately like jumped in the shower because i was like i don't know what this water has and where this water's from like it's just been going 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 so i'm super super tired now i was smart enough to edit most of the vlog yesterday which was friday um so i got most of it edited so pretty much i just need to put this part in but i appreciate all the love for the vlogs i definitely will keep going on the weekly vlogging like i said it's probably be some weeks where it is going to be this short and some weeks where it's going to be longer but there will still be a vlog nonetheless so, so i appreciate all the comments and the love that you guys gave us like i really enjoy vlogging especially when i have stuff that i can tell you guys about or i'm excited about or news that i can share and i like sharing too my meal plan with you guys because like i said i'm not like the super healthiest <laughs> i've been drinking kool-aid <laughs> i'm not like the super healthiest person as far as food wise because i eat a lot of packaged foods but at the end of the day if you're trying to lose weight it is literally calories in versus calories out yes you do need to be healthy in the sense of what you're putting in your body as far as like watching your protein and your carbs and your sodium and stuff like that but literally if you want to see the scale go down it is calories in versus calories out and if you can continue to keep yourself in a deficit you will continue to lose so i do like to share my recipes because like i said no they're not you know fresh lettuce and chopped onions and stuff like that but it's just kind of practical especially if you're busy and you know you only have a 30 minute lunch break you just need to warm some up and get something done i like sharing what i do because i do live a busy schedule you know so it works for me and i'm 102 pounds down so it works and i'm so glad that you guys enjoy look i just keep switching this camera from hand to hand because my arms are done for like i made it this week with my four workouts summer slim down week number one was amazing for me i lost 2.6 pounds i would be revealing like the numbers and everything at the end of the summer slim down i really just want to focus on habits this month and making sure that i'm doing it but i did weigh myself just to make sure you know your girl's staying in the right range or whatever but i'm super excited and i actually did weight watchers this week like i was 100 percent compliant with weight watchers as far as tracking and keeping up with my activity and all that stuff on weight watchers and it really worked out like i said i'm down 2.6 pounds so i'm super excited about that i'm gonna definitely continue i've already figured out my menu for next week so, so i'm so excited to go shopping and share that with you guys and actually do another meal prep with you guys so yes guys y'all know i could talk forever and forever but i'm gonna go ahead and end out this weekly vlog so i can start next week vlog so if you're not subscribed this is the time to go ahead and subscribe and turn your notification bell on to be notified when i post next week's vlog and i'll see you guys very soon